Ladies and gentlemen, sorry, thank you. When I know the person where I beg yesterday, yes, sir. The man, when we say in profession, that man, a profession of humanity. Yes, sir. In conquer extra humanity. Man, where they humane, so they, if you enter in hospital, you know, you know, say, I am be the owner of the hospital. Aye. The man will go to you injection. You go to tell and say, Doctor, I beg. I beg. You say, I don't do and since now. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Doctor, where you go do you operation? Operation where they go tell you, say, No commod go anywhere until after three weeks. You go call and evaluate you the second day, the third day. And I'm a soft spoken person. You know, you know, he voice no day or or like my own. You go here. Hi, how are you, how, how are you doing? Are you okay? Okay, from my evaluation here, you are good to go. You no. Know, every day where you stay extra is supposed to make money on top of you. But he's not after your money. He's after your health. Doctor, we hand me over to doctors. <laughs> where they, where they check me where, where. Check everywhere. <laughs> yesterday, yesterday, I sent me a message. They say, now me and mama, they watch the program. When I know she say, I do you turn quick, quick. They say, mama, here, yeah, I mean, uh, mention. They say she no look the TV again. Put her, <laughs> but she no know she born now. Who are, who I follow for, with this character? No, be she, my late father. May he so rest in peace. Now complete gentleman. Now complete gentleman. This Uru Uru now my mother. My father go day here. When I go they do things. Mm mm. Even in laugh, not lay loud. You, you just, mm, mm, mm. I go commit offense, commit offense. You go just look me. Uh, uh, we still just look me. Say, you know the shame. You know they see your mates. So you will born make a they beat you every day. No, no, no. Then my mother go come. Now so you do. 1972. When I born in junior sister. I say make them go buy bongo. Bongo tea. This boy come out. Oh, you know come back. She won't pump fire. Make my father beat me. She go. Remember the war of. The, she go down gather. If she say the tea no work. She could come to look at Now. In order to maintain peace, complete gentleman, may he so rest in peace. I can never be gentle like my father. You go just look me. You, last warning. My mother, yesterday you give her last warning. Day before yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> if now you bomb me, you go tired to beat me. At a point in time, beat you know they pain me again. Now, make if I see stubborn picking, they they beat her. I go just tell you, say, Madam, no beat her again, give me the. Now, 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 my type. But my father go talk to you in the morning till evening, your body weak. But me, if you beat me now, you go to hear, hey, 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 you don't. Do. You don't they fight her. <laughs> don't they fight another place. But the bottom line is for those of Una, we una children they stubborn. Make Una no lay cause on them. Please pray and engage them. No be one form one formula of training. They feed all children. When I hear, yes, sir. most especially widows and single mothers, 
please. Out of frustration, desperation, when I feel fit, begin the anything where you will talk about your child. Angels of God, they accept them. I beg. My brothers, my sisters. The doctor, why they talk? Now, doctor, when we say, May God Almighty continue to bless and protect him. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you now our teacher for today. Because even me, I go leave this chair. Go sit down. Mariam, you go come collect the chair. I go sit down, make I collect lecture. If I need to ask question, me too, I go ask question. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Chris Otabo. You know, say, in name, even if you know, get teeth for mouth, you go feel color. Chris Otabo. <laughs> Please sit down, sir. Thank you. Welcome, sir. Good morning, sir. Please listen attentively to get this kind of opportunity. You know, they did plenty. Now where opportunity don't come, take advantage. Thank you. Good morning, ordinary president. And good morning, Brekete family members. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. I feel highly honored to be here today like always. It's a very rare privilege and I don't take this for granted. I thank ordinary president for what he's doing to help humanity. And I'm grateful that he also gave me the opportunity to partner with him to help people and because that's what I love to do. So this morning I will talk on infertility. I mentioned it yesterday because it has become a big problem or it has always been a big problem even before we were born. And uh, infertility has robbed a lot of couple of the joy of their marriage and it can lead to a lot of psychological problems, including depression. And people who don't know where to go for help, they fall into the wrong hands and their problem even gets worse. So I would spend some time to just explain some things that will be of help to us. I'll start by defining infertility. Um, infertility is defined as inability of a couple to attain pregnancy after regular sexual exposure for a period of one year. So if um, two people have been living together and they've been having um, sexual intercourse and they desire to get pregnant and they are not able to get pregnant, then we say that uh, there's infertility. And it's a big problem all over the world. It's estimated that about 80 million couple all over the world have this problem. So, so it's massive. 80 million is not a joke. Yes, and um, in Nigeria here, in developing country, according to WHO statistics, one in four couple suffer infertility in one way or the other. That means when you see weddings have happening all over Abuja or Nigeria every Saturday, for every four marriage that you see, one would have one form of infertility problem or the other. So it's big. Now there are two types of infertility. There's the primary infertility and the secondary infertility. Primary infertility means that the woman has not been able to get pregnant at all, or the man has not been able to impregnate a woman at all since they were born. Why secondary infertility means they, they, they've been able to attain pregnancy before. The man says, oh, before I got married, I was able to impregnate a lady, but since I've been married to you, we don't have a child. Or the woman says, well, I had children, I had, I was pregnant before either with the child was born or maybe aborted, but now I'm looking for a child, I can't have one. 
So that's secondary infertility. Uh, people talk about who is at fault, and in African setting, people always like to blame the woman for infertility. But that's even wrong because, yes, you don't know. We don't even look at infertility from the angle of blame. We look at it from the angle of the source. What is this? Where is this coming from? And statistics shows that one third of infertility is as a result of the man. Another one third is as a result of the woman. Then the final one third is as a result of both of them combined. So the problem in half in one third of the cases is from men. And one the problem one third of the cases is from women and the other one third is a combination of the two of them. So those uh, mother in laws them will go they torment the life of their daughter in laws. Now man, my son go marry. Now man, my son go marry. They no go allow the woman drink water drop cup like say now the wish of the woman not to born picking as if they worry the man if they worry the woman past the man because now the pride and joy of every woman may she born her own picking whether either at young age or at an advanced age but smarting over 80 percent of the blame they go just look the woman they see not the woman you get one we up till now he never born and i know she say he go ever born in relations they be vultures on top of them maybe they hear this program now Nine they train in senior sisters' children. Nine they train in senior sisters' children. Uh, brothers' children. Everybody don't turn them to ATM without pin number. <laughs> and he never born picking before. You can't see one young lady. Say one marry. Because the check say the lady they highly fetter these kind of women way if you hold their hand tight too much, but let go enter. Mm -mm. <laughs> now so they attack the marriage till the we tango say the marriage no work. The lady as we speak, she don't burn, and I hear say she don't carry another belly again for her new marriage where she married. That man still there, even miscarriage never happened for his house. And everybody go to blame woman, woman, woman. We for Africa, in some cases, we know they did fair to women. Why I interrupt? I'm not supposed to interrupt, but I just want to shed more light because not only God Sabi, how many women they pass through this thing? Some women don't develop high blood pressure because of this. Some women don't lose confidence. Some women say, if family they do something, they know they feel attend again. Some say they go use children, abuse the woman. The king will come, match her, pass. Now the mother send them, match her, pass. Stop. She said, uh, you, you, why you they be this picking? Oh, no wonder. You don't know the pain of labor. <laughs> ah! You tell woman we never born that kind of thing. Anyways, Doctor, continue. Thank you, Ordinary President. Okay, so I'll talk about the causes. I think everybody will be interested in this, mm -hmm. and I will spend a lot of time here. Mm -hmm. um, many people, whether man or woman, as they were born, it's, the, it's already in their destiny that they will not have children because of certain abnormality that they were born with. We call it congenital abnormality. For instance, th there's what we call the Kleinefetter syndrome. It's called the XX chromosome, XXY chromosome. 
Now, it's a genetic problem for men. Every man is supposed to have um, one X and one Y chromosome. Why every woman is supposed to have X and Y chromosome, uh, X and X chromosome. But in some men, they have two X and Y. So they are really neither male nor female mm -hmm. because they have some female features. That is he, shim. Yes, some shim. shim. <laughs> so, so you she have and him. Yes, shim. Yes, and it depends on how they present. You may never really know. Some of them will have breasts, but they are they are known as male because they have the male organ. But they have too much of X uh, chromosome in them. So because of that, their testes will not develop well. They may not be able to produce sperm. They may be able to attain... Which one be testes? Okay, two jerry cans. <laughs> okay. Abby? Yes, you okay. know what it is. So... <laughs> <laughs> so... And at this point, I must, I must differentiate between impotence and infertility in men. Impotence means the man cannot attain erection for sexual intercourse. Uh, but that is different from infertility. The fact that a man can attain adequate sexual intercourse does not mean that he's fertile. Mm. Because it takes the seed of a man to be able to impregnate a woman that is fertile. So not be every farm where they plant. Not be every grain where they plant. Nine they germinate. They germinate mm. Yes. So then, uh, in some children, we have undescended testes, and that's this is where mothers need to be very careful. Some children, you know, as the testes is formed in the abdomen when as little boys in the womb, in the in the embryo, just before birth. So the, the testes will come into the scrotum. Wait, you see, you you know you go like the way I interrupt you. For people who go to school, for people where they hear English, then they understand you. Mm -hmm. This question where they ask for you to break them down, oh, style where are they take, they break them down. Now I make uh, my primary constituency go understand. You see, that thing when you talk, say, test is, then they form out from Belen, when Peking day for Belen. If they don't, they born Peking, those two jerry cans where they, they under the pipe where man they take the urinate those two jerry cans some they big some they small he say when them born picking the team when picking the belly the team now inside this uh, inside belly day. inside belly day. Yeah. now when they born picking the thing go con just before bed uh -huh. the 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 Test is of the tennis balls. Uh -huh. They will come into the scrotum. Oh. Yes. Oh, before now the sack, empty sack nine days. Yes. Uh -huh. The sack uh -huh. is there. But just before bets, a few days before bet, it will come into the so scrotum. So those cashew not go come there. Yes. Inside. Okay. So and this is why it's good to give bet in the hospital. Hmm. Because hmm. the doctors check for it to make sure it's there. Because in some children it doesn't descend. It don't go. Yes, it's still in the abdomen until they push and down. Yes, there's a procedure. But if you leave it there for long, then it is it will die. It, no matter what you do, mm. it will not be able to give birth again because the it the temperature inside there it too would, much for yes. Them. So it will not solve. It will and not, you know they like hot temperature too yes. much. So if you see the sack there. It sometimes during cold it will contract. Yes. Then during heat it will relax. Yeah. See, there's a reason for that to control the temperature. Mm. But inside the body, the temperature is always hot, 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 mm. and it will kill the the cells that produce sperm. No wonder during hammer time the thing will shrink, the body will come the rough. Okay. Una so, never check una oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so if a child has undescended testes and it is not detected to bring it down early enough those testes will be useless and then eventually it will lead to infertility and not just that those testes are also predisposed to cancer the ones where the, the one that didn't descend uh, yes so test is now if then no you know quick come down 
yes. entire Jerican. Yes, you have to. It means say they no go fit test them. <laughs> test is we will no come down. They know they fit test them. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So if you notice that your baby boy does not have his testes in the scrotum, raise alarm. Let the, the surgeon may need to do something to bring it down. If you leave it there for too long, maybe a few years, forget it. Even if they bring it down, it's not going to be useful because it's dead. So that boy can grow up to be a big boy with beards, but he doesn't have seed. So even if he gets married, he's not going to be able to impregnate a woman. Yes. Then, um, in women, there are some women that are born with septic uterus. The womb is like, instead of one room, it has many uh, sp Compartment. compartments. So you can't, you can't um, receive a, a, a baby. The feet correct that one. Yes, can uh -huh. be done through surgery. Uh -huh. Yes. Hope day. Yes. Then in early childhood, there's what we call mumps. Or mumps. It's a viral infection. Sometimes a child wakes up and then you notice that there's a swelling around his jaw. Hey. It's common. Well, it used to be common those days, but it's, I still see it in my practice. So that swelling... It is most of the time is mumps. It's so it's very swollen. Yes, now nah. if care is not taken, because something that is produced by that virus goes straight to the kidneys and knock the kidneys off. Once those kidneys are knocked off with mumps, that child is is infertile for life. So that's why you have to be very careful to take the child immediately, especially if the child complains of pain in that place. They did that to work off our body well. well <laughs> Yeah. How would they take treat at that time? Con, con, uh, con. Uh, that uh, if we come uh, on, con, uh, con chaff. The long uh, after you chop the mouth organ, they go con put them for ashes, ashes, and charcoal. Do they go con rubber? They go say, say you go go, you go go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, most of the time it's painless. Mm, so so it will swell up. Yes, it will swell. You bend your neck one side. Yes, mm. very swollen. Mm. So that's that's a common. It's a is it's a risk, a big risk for infertility for men, and it just comes innocently. Yeah. After a few days, it will go. If it's not taken, if it has hit the kidney, the the testes, then that's the end for the man. Mm. Yes. Then another thing that also predisposed to infertility in boys is testicular torsion. You t a, a young boy is common in uh, adolescence. Testicular, testicular torsion. The testes would twist. <laughs> yes, it twists. And there are boys that are predisposed to it. It twists. You, the boy will come with sudden pain in the testes and it's very tender. Once not you the no, it's that a torsion. Particular testis. Yes, what do you call it? Torsion. Particular torsion. Testicular torsion. Oh, testicular torsion. Yes. Well, it, it might just be playing football. It might just be walking. It might just be sitting down and, and trying to get up. The testis will twist. But he will know it's, it's torsion. But what is important is that the child will come with pain. Hmm. And he can't hide it. So no matter how shy mm. the child, you will know that that there's a you problem. Could, uh, put, it shows yes, the point at area one. Sudden pain, and and that one is an emergency. Eh? Mm. Yes, if you don't do surgery to detort to to untwist it, mm. that test is after some time to lose its blood supply. So even what what you have there from then on is just an empty test is is dead. Mm. So what we do as surgeons, when one side is twisted, we if we catch the child early, we go and untwist it and and fix it so that it doesn't twist again. But we go to the normal side and fix it because the other side can still twist. <sighs> yes. Yeah, so these are some things that happen in boys. Sometimes parents don't know; it just passes. So for women, we know they value men. We now see what you would they pass through. <laughs> Continue. Yes. Yeah, so, so these are things that can lead to infertility later in life. And when it happens, the child, the guy was young, he doesn't even know what happened. Because if you don't do anything about that torsion, after some hours or like six, seven hours, once the once the, the tissue is dead, there will be no pain again, and life continues. And if it happens for the two, maybe either at the same time or 
one after the other. Mm -hmm. That child, that guy is, is not first, is not fat. I can never give uh, impregnate a woman again. Even though all the hormones are there, he can still make love, but he will not have a child. Okay, so that's uh, for torsion. Then in adults, there's also infection. There's this idea of people say, I want to go and meet a lady. You are not using protection. You take one ampicillin. That's, that's foolish. Mm. Yes. Once um infection gets in maybe gonorrhea syphilis or some other infectious disease if it is not treated appropriately or you adequately. mentioned gonorrhea come mention c finish which one be c finish syphilis oh syphilis yes all right in a c finish yes. okay mm -hmm. so it can go and block the tube it's not only women that have tubes men also have tubes so we too yes the tube the tube through which the sperm comes through the testes and then and then come out so th such infections can block the tube and twist everywhere such that um, the, the he will not be able to impregnate a woman then um for for young adults and people who are working class people who work who um mm. like long distance drivers who sit on hot seats Taw. for a long time. Hey. Yes. If that if like that, us if they, do conduct at that time. Yes. When <laughs> when you sit full, do yes. now engine, you go sit down. That thing can yes. be warm. It's sweet during my time. Exactly. I don't <laughs> do <it> well, well. <laughs> <laughs> if the, if that headquarters is too hot, uh, yes, it can lead to poor sperm quality. And if it's consistent, the man may not be able to attain um, the, uh, impregnate a woman. What a person yes. with the bath hot water? Where, where? No, that does not. That would not because the the, the the exposure is not sustained. What of sometimes work person go uh, suffer constipation to go poopoo -poo, you know fit. Then they do one for me for, for uh, from that time does, to time. That, does, that would not affect. Uh, they go put hot water for inside bath. Mm. You go sit down on top. Both the area one and zone two, <laughs> then go there inside. He get one day. As soon as I sit down, the team. Ah! So now my wife come hold them up for me. Well, okay, sorry. Then. Okay. So um, there's also. I don't even time go say somebody help me hold up. <laughs> for people who work in factories where X-ray is used, yeah. radiation. Uh. Yes they can be exposed to excessive irradiation it can knock off the balls mm. yes so so that's why we Ronaldo. don't want we don't want people to be exposed to x-rays too frequently Hapa! no wonder if you want to enter x-ray machine for some labs yes you get one heavy to yes. where they go give you exactly cover area one. one yes is the lead is the lead jacket well, i go one lab mm. the other day i enter I asked the lady, what of that? Uh, she said, ah, no need. I said, mm -mm. <laughs> <They tell me. laughs> because this is very important to me. Yes. Without this, what did I do? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> then in, um, in, in more senior men, there's all called retrograde ejaculation. Instead of the sperm coming out, it will go into the bladder. <laughs> Yes. That's why I look. <laughs> yes, there are many conditions that can cause that prostate <laughs> enlargement and some surgeries mm. that have been done. Ooh. So if it doesn't come out, that is common sense. You can know that it will not. So after the, after the the sexual experience, when the person passes urine, you pass out the whitish you know, ah. stuff. So, so no problem. Yes, of course. It's, mm. That stands to reason. You can't if the seed does not come out. It cannot so, but that can also be treated. Mm -hmm. Then, so if I've been talking about males all the mm -hmm. time, so in female, um, hormonal deficiency is a big problem. Some people, women, will tell you, "I've not seen my period for six months." Some will say, oh, "My period has just been there for three, four months stretch." You know, those are signs of hormonal deficiency because it takes the interplay of hormones for you to attain ovulation. And without ovulation, there's no pregnancy. So hormonal deficiency is a very common cause. But in this environment, um, infection is the commonest cause of infertility. Infection, whether primary or secondary. 
Some people say I gave birth to my first child since then. It's been ten years. I can't give. I can't get pregnant. Mm -hmm. Probably after that first pregnancy or during delivery, the, it was not properly managed. Infection can come in either because of complication, maybe retained placenta, or you know some other process. So and it led to infection. So that can lead to infertility or maybe uh, someone has had. Um, an abortion, if it's not properly supervised, it can there will be an ascending infection. It will just block the tube. Like people where they take uh, herbal medicine mm. to come out belly. Yes, even mm. even uh, quack people, quack doctors, and all mm. that. It can also happen. So infection generally, and it doesn't even have to be true termination of pregnancy. Mm. Pelvic inflammatory disease from sexually transmitted disease can just go up and block the tubes mm. once the tubes are blocked the air cannot pass through and then um, but let's go enter. yes mm. so it's it's very common then we have polycystic ovary you know the the ovary instead of just being you know releasing egg at once is full of cysts and spaces but that one not only police they worry about <laughs> poorly means plenty cysts. oh i hear poly police you know police mm, okay then fibroid ah. is a common cause of oh, infertility no yes sometimes you see if women with fibroid that is like they are 30 weeks pregnant even 30 35 weeks pregnant doctor when we be children we go here elders the gossip woman the way they pass Say she don't carry this pregnancy for three years it's now. It's not pregnancy. <laughs> it's, it's fibroid. Yes. Then um, some brain condition can also lead to infertility because it's the brain that triggers all the hormones. That's where everything is regulated. Mm. If you have hypopituitarism, that the pituitary gland is not producing enough hormones, it will not signal the ovaries to produce the egg that is in the case of a woman yes and for men the same thing it will not sig signal the testes to produce uh, the sperm but you know. if not so why pregnant uh, why mad women they carry belly no mad that, madness that, that pitch, uh, madness that one is the cognitive function there are different types layers of the brain the higher center that controls um, our social behavior is different from the normal regulatory oh, function. I don't know. Yes. I make I ask. <laughs> yes. No yes. No yes. Will not be yeah. no before. No, sir. Uh, so. Then also increasing increasing age is a is a major factor, and it's in it's, women. Yes, because in our contemporary society, women are becoming more educated, and so their age of marriage is increasing. And as you get older in age, the efficiency of your reproductive system is dropping. Mm. Yes. And what of man? No man. Man can can man is okay anytime. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. So so from around the age of thirty some thirty five and above, the risk, the chances of infertility just keeps. No, it's it starts reducing from even much earlier, but from around that time almost half of the women will require assisted you know, reproduction mm. and so some people like, like which age group the best the the most fertile age group is from 18 to 25 okay. yes. so anything from 25 27 30 35 the biological clock is is ticking but it doesn't mean that they won't get pregnant uh. but it's just that the percent the efficiency reduces and i hear i say when advanced man person we don't advance for age as a man uh born picking with woman we don't advance for age they said the, the possibility of, of made them born picking we know they healthy they dear not, Perf not true perfectly correct yeah. so the increasing maternal age and for the first time i did correct you know you have you've always you've always been correct mm. <laughs> Increasing maternal age predisposes to congenital anomalies, which is deformities like Down syndrome, mm. you know, so many abnormalities in the children. Yes, I, I agree with you on that. Thank you, sir. Then, so, so these are some of the things. So, it's not, it's by no means exhaustive, mm. but these are some, ma the major factors. We are not going to appreciate them.
Thank you. So how do we ad, ad, how do we diagnose infertility? It's very easy. Mm -hmm. Yes, the chief complaint is that doctor have not been able to get pregnant. Yes. It's, so there's no corner there. I mean, we, it's very straightforward. So, but for you to now find out why, that's where the problem is. So you have to listen to, you have to take a good history based on all these things that I have said. That is you, the doctor. Yes. First of all, the doctor must establish that there has been regular sexual intercourse. When ordinary president, yes, sir. something interesting happened when we were in medical school. <laughs> a young man and his wife came to the hospital to complain that they've not been able to get pregnant three years after marriage. marriage. So we did every test. Everything was looking normal. So my chief s s decided to examine her. As she tried to do a vaginal examination, she discovered that the hymen is still in place. She is a virgin. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> it, will, it will blow your mind. Uh -uh. They, they, they both of them married as virgins. They were both naive. Uh, yeah. They were both naive. So hey. the man has failed to break the calabash. Mm. <laughs> He was, he was, as far as they were concerned, they were having fun. But they, he has not, he has not def deflowered the lady. Mm -hmm. So he was naive. So you have, you have to be personally sure that everything is proper. So yes. now help and do it. No, that's, now question now. That's, that's not our calling. Okay. <laughs> hey. we, we told him where he's, where he's lacking. And, hey. and, At least when I help him. Yeah, we are help and tell him what he's supposed to do. Exactly. Ah, so, ah. so if he had continued on that path, if I not get forever, you, know, you can be crying, but you will never be able mm -hmm. to. So a good history is important, you know, to know whether there has been infection, whether she has had an abortion, mm -hmm. the the frequency of the regularity of the period. What if the patient? Be again lie to now. That's a problem. Oh, no, nah, no, nah, it's problem. not my problem. I'm not the one that needs a child. Mm. A, any doctor, any patient that lies to the doctor is not is doing himself. Mm. Yeah, it's not. It's not me. He good as you talk him now, yes. because many people think say, I then shall be lie outside. <laughs> they go lie to doctor too. Even now age, yourself, you do. I see civil servants because they have they have forty falsified their age. Yeah, they in, don't do in the it. And I'm asking the old man, how old are you? He is telling me he's cutting ten years from the stage. <laughs> I'm like, are you normal? It's like you have a mental illness. Mm. You are lying to your doctor. So if I treat you based on the age you are giving me, the, it, the medicine <laughs> comes too strong for exactly. you. Exactly. It don't happen. It has work. happened. Yeah. And so yeah. very serious thing happened. To One the director for Ministry of Okay, make I leave the ministry. He don't change in age. He reduce about nine years out of his age declaration of age. Declaration of age. He can't be sick. <laughs> they can't carry and go hospital. They can't carry the medicine way the body of person way the, be the age when he claim yeah. the body go fit take him. <laughs> in small time, I begin turn him. <laughs> he begin vomit. <laughs> He begin purge the rush and go doctor help me they say this thing now overdose you take it say now nah, not take overdose county how many you give me they say 22 how many they there they say 21 i go manufacture the, uh, the 90 doctor near him. director how old are you, truly? He said, I'm 67. <laughs> <laughs> 67. <laughs> this is not the person where they claim 50 something, 58 at 3 something. Continue, sir. Okay, so you examine the patient. Mm. It's very important that a meticulous doctor must examine the patient. If you have infertility and the doctor is just writing, say, tell the doctor, say, doctor, please touch me, examine my body. But wait, too. Oh. Do which field of medicine be meticulous? Yeah, meticulous now. You say meticulous doctor. A meticulous doctor. That means a careful doctor. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you know, say, ah, so I know <laughs> those two. Meticulous. <laughs> yes. So, I know you want me to yourself. So, Akaramakala be meticulous. Yes. <laughs> mm. So, you examine. Even the, the pattern of pupic hair distribution can even tell. 
Be a beer for uh, yes, because <laughs> if like there's a female pattern of distribution, and some men have female pattern of beer, beer yes, yeah. for area one, you just know that there's a problem. Yes, from the beer, beer? yes, <laughs> you go check my own before you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just above the umbrella, because not even oh, down, down, yes, <laughs> yes. Then you want to check for masses, like for instance, if there's fibroid or if there's swelling or pain, that so, is all the you see in women yes but even with men mm -hmm. in men you check for what we call varicocele something like warm in the test in the sack you just is varicocele it's it's classic so if you hold on now you go feel, you feel it it's like warm <laughs> so you know that okay there's a problem mm -hmm. that might just be the 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 clue to the diagnosis of varicocele because it's one of the causes of infertility <laughs> You, you Man, no, good, uh, all the organs, the breast. If you and enter everything. toilet now, put hand. Feel them by yourself. If, if you oh, have very close, no, you know you won't. You, oh, you, okay. You, 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 you take, take a doctor to, oh, to hey, address uh, that. Go dog. Be, be so doctor. then, after the examination, you want to investigate. So that's where you know pay, many women who have had infertility, they've done like HSG, which is is a dye that you put through the womb to go into the fallopian tube to be sure that it is not blocked that's a very common one then um ultrasound then for the men semen analysis so that's where a lot of the time you you clinch it a mother has been complaining and and harassing his wife that they have not been able to get pregnant and the family, everybody is looking at the woman because it's the woman that normally manifests features of mm. pregnancy. So she is seen as the fault person. Mm. When you put the sperm in the microscope, the the semen, okay. you discover that there is no sperm. The fact that a man is able to release something does not mean that nah, it, nah, that there's a seed inside. Mm. Yes. So, so I be cement analysis. Yes, and sometimes the man will tell you, "Look, look, look! I'm not the one that is the problem." Because when I was a young man, my girlfriend was pregnant three times. Mm. It, it's possible that it was not his pregnancy. We are road. We are road. We are. We are road. We are. We are. We are road. So not for every child that tell you, yes. I, I, I don't carry belly for you. Yes. Now be your own. for somebody else. Oh. Hey. Yes. So, uh -oh. so that's why no matter what they say, we want to check. Hmm. And many times we see things that we just blow their minds. Hmm. Yes. So you do semen analysis. You are looking at for is the first of all is the quantity enough? Is the is it thick or watery? Like how many spoon be the quantity will it be? Well, three no, to one, 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 one. Okay, three, no, three to five no, no, no okay. answer, no answer again. No, it's not a problem. Uh, <laughs> I ask question when we wanna go. Thank me, say I ask the question. Nami no, Nami come on shame to ask question. When they laugh me, like how many spoon? No, just three to five mil is is adequate. No? Three to five mil, like, like how many spoon? Maybe like uh, one teaspoon, uh, one teaspoon or two. When I don't hear them yeah hmm. okay so um we do some blood work and swab and then sometimes we may need to use a camera to look into the womb oh. of the, we call it hysteroscopy oh. yes to check if something is there that is blocking mm -hmm. the sometimes fertilization has taken place but the the space for the baby to settle and grow is not th there hmm. because something is blocking the womb so you go and clear it and, and as soon as you clear it yes you can get pregnant so the treatment so that i don't take too much of your time we we <laughs> we <laughs> now your time they more important no, here I'm, I'm okay. because the knowledge we get you they give the whole world now yes. it, ha now only god will bless you sir thank you sir <laughs> and uh, make i beg you for one thing no pick of things for the uh, foolish questions why they ask you you have never asked any foolish question because i know you are communicating something thank you yes. <laughs> i remember even for school now miss sabi ask question pass some of my classmates no oh, oh. any lecturer will get patience to answer me the same kangaroo them <laughs> you go say carry pyro and paper begin they take note 
For question, no way, no be there as and they no support me ask the question. Mm -hmm. So I beg, I they do and so that people will be say my level mentally and them not the same thing. So that we too go understand. No be only intelligent people like this yes, go sir. understand what you they talk. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, so after investigating and we have established the cause of the infertility, mm. but let me quickly say that in about 10% of cases, you will never find out the exact cause. Mm. It's not... It's, it's 10 out key. of 100. Yes. You may never find out. Yes. But... You go live and for God. Yes. But most of the time, we're able to establish... Like 90%. Is. Yes. And um, so after we have established the diagnosis, then we treat. Treatment, most of the time, counseling is even enough. Counseling? Yes. Counseling is enough most of the time. For instance, um, a couple, maybe the man is working somewhere and the woman is in another city. And when it is their fertile period, the man is never there. So it's, they are never going to get pregnant. Which period be the fertile period for you? The fertile where? period is the 14th day, 14 days before the, the next menses. Mm. For a 28 day circle, mm. on the 14th day, which is the middle of the circle, that's the day of ovulation. Belego just enter Pia. That's the day the egg is released. So any if you jam intercourse them. two days or three before and two days or three after will be a right timing. Two days or three days after woman finish menstruation? No. After, see, from the f if it's a 28 day circle. Okay, we'll, uh, wait. When I won't know, come tell us. <laughs> and they ask question. This question is there for another person in mind as we they talk. So. Yes. Yes, sir. <laughs> I go verse now. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Even if I try to make a verse, I know the verse go anywhere. <laughs> okay. okay. So, from the first day of the p circle, the day you see your period like this. <clears throat> up to this 14th day okay. that 14th day is the day of the release of egg that is if the circle is 28 days uh -huh. because from that 14th day you have another 14 days to the next menstruation mm. but for women who have longer circles mm, 30 days if it's 30 days it is 14 days to the to the next period which means 17 days, uh, which means 16 days after the f last period. That's when the ovulation will take place. Mm. So for women who have 32 days, it means 18 days after the first period because it will coincide with 14 days to the next period. You, you must target 14 days to, to the, the next. next period. That is the, that's the day of ovulation. Mm. 14 days to. So you... you you at least plan. person uh, no good they wasting energy yes for but, the but, rest yes. of the but, uh, but we say for for healthy couples who are living together mm. if you have intercourse three to four times a week <laughs> you don't bother <laughs> about timing because within if it is regular three to four times a week yes that's adequate that's what we call <laughs> that's what we call adequate you know, it's not easy sir it's not easy it, well that is the adequate exposure mm. Yes. Except the man is sick. Why would he not be easy? Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> See, sir. Before marriage, sex is fun. After marriage, now work. <laughs> well, it depends on who I'm talking to. Uh, now me, they talk to now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah. let's... Um, so, counseling. Mm. Yes, it's important. Like, the issue of the men that sit in the hot place mm. all the time we can advise them to leave the then um, um smoking it also reduces fertility we can help them to quit smoking when i wear the uh, smoke yes both in their hemp and we we yes and then avoid use of i don't know if they still use it nylon pants that trap nylon traps heat mm -hmm. in the around that what else skin tight skin tight as long as it's not nylon it's okay but nylon tend to trap heat there. Mm. So, cotton pants or no pants at all. Uh, tubeless. Would they call it tubeless? Yes. So, that's, that's so adequate. It is advisable for you to go tubeless if the two no go too show. Yes. So, if um, there's infection, 
we treat infection adequately. Most infection can be treated if it's not already complicated mm. with the appropriate antibiotic. Well, we take a wound swab, we take a swab, and then direct the treatment. If it's and uh, I hear say if I want to treat a uh, uh, infection, if na couple. We now treat two both of, of them, them yes. we, we they so that there will be no reinfection. Ooh. Yes, if you treat only one, the partner can reinfect. What if the husband is living in denial or the wife is, is living in denial? That becomes a social problem. It's not mm. a medical problem. Okay, sorry. But sorry. we can they, they can be cancelled mm. for them to treat themselves. Mm. Yes. So um, as lifestyle modification, I've talked about it. Then surgery, like for um, surgery fibroid surgery and some other um, uh, surgery for the for the uh, uterus then hormonal therapy then the big one which is the biggest solution to most medical most infertility problem now is in vitro fertilization or assisted reproduction that's the ivf everybody knows now about the IV many people know now about the ivf with ivf with assisted reproduction there's hardly any case any there's hardly any hopeless case now mm -hmm. yes one way or the other we can find a way to help to, the get, couple her pregnant. to get pregnant mm. so so there are many options if the man has no seed at all then that means he will need a donor sperm if the How woman person spam? yes if the woman is past age and is the ovary has shut down and she cannot produce egg we can get a donor egg mm. yes and if the tube is blocked we can bypass the tube and fertilize the baby the the organs the gamete outside and put it in the womb and then the woman will, will have children dr otabo yes sir you go hold on there small okay people wait there for social media if they get question they go ask uh, people will go uh, uh, after social media we will come and check um, we go open telephone line may people ask question are, are you comfortable yeah with that? fine i'm okay thank I'm you excellent. uh dr ogumbi muniola doctor god bless you real good when can we visit for counseling this Any is coming from ogumbi Muni nuola yes they can come to the hospital anytime where is the location of the hospital um alliance hospital malum fashi close number five malum fashi one to five malum fashi close off emeka yanku street for gariki yes okay. gariki 11. no worry i go look for the address mm. i go uh, i go type on for our social media platform so that other people go uh, get them Moshud Salami said, Doctor, sir, what is the cause of a heartbeat in the pregnancy? At the end, they flush the pregnancy. This is coming from Moshud Salami. What's the cause of heartbeat? He, uh, maybe, maybe, diggy, diggy, diggy. Within the make person heart they cut. Is it for the mother or the baby? So, uh, the question is not Salami. Very clear. Ask your question well, well. Hmm? Doctor, sir, what is the cause of heartbeat in the pregnancy and at the end, they flush the pregnancy? Okay. So, Salami, good morning, my ordinary president. I won't tell you to say we love you well, well. We love mommy, Felicia, Konzota, Akramakala, Alaya, and all the people. Thank you. Now, question we... Uh, so, sir, he say, how about your Instagram handle? Uh, when a uh, uh, hospital get Instagram handle? Yes. Okay. Uh, you, you call them because I know say you do to occupy it. To uh, it's my, call my, your people, make them send us uh, all the social media handles. Okay. Make we make we, we make people uh, take advantage. Okay. Emmanuel Ogolowa. He said, thank you my ordinary president for those interjections they make the lecture more interesting less boring and easy to understand doctor sir idea ex explained reasons for infertility in the explainer unless you know the onewo dixon he said good morning my ordinary president 
Good morning, my ordinary president, and thank you for this great lecture. But my question is this. If you use a donor spam or egg, can you say the child is yours since it is not your spam or egg? <laughs> now you, doctor. We, we, the world has passed that stage by now. We, we know that um, even people adopt children and they... they I mean, we know that even these children has nothing to do with them biologically, but they, they are still recognized as their children. So if one of the parents is the mother of, maybe the mother's egg and a donor sperm, it is still in the family. Bless so, but some people have psychological issues with that, but that's a lot better than not having a child at all. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, Okun, somebody, uh, hey, it didn't don't work out. Is to say, at what age is a woman too old to conceive? When she hits. Less in Okun. He what? said, Doctor, please, what is the cause of. Ah, uh, okay. Bless in Okun talks, say, Doctor, please, what is the cause of seized period? Can I answer the. Uh, when, when, uh, okay, for the age of too old to conceive by herself because with assisted reproduction IVF you can conceive even after menopause but it's at the age of menopause once menstruation stops the woman cannot conceive by herself anymore okay. and menopause can come some some people have early menopause even at the age of 35 they have reached menopause eh? yes yes i have menopause a, yes i know people who are who hit menopause at 35 why others sometimes up to 55 they are still menstruating waiting thinks you uh, waiting you think say cause this accelerated menopause scientifically most medically. of it is programming it's a gene thing the the genetic makeup mm. it's just the way gray hair show some of my classmates now you can count the black hair in their hair they are all fully gray. Now, nah, because you do do God work. <laughs> <laughs> so it's genetic. <clears throat> yes, it's the way the gene, the genetic programming of the body. But if someone has uh, some problems and let's say cancer, and they are using chemotherapy, it can lead to early menopause. Okay, Ido mm -hmm. Vitale, he say, please, sir, what is the cause of fibroid? Uh, you go answer them many. Make I uh, read uh, that ones. Uh, Emmanuel Ogolowa, he said, thank you, ordinary president. Uh, for, uh, no, be this one. Uh, good morning. It's like, uh, like the topic. Well, okay. Franklin Oshashabua, he said, good morning, my ordinary president. Please, sir, I like this topic, but please, sir, I would like to come over and see you, sir. I know be a doctor. If you want to see, if now about this topic, you go see, see me, I know Sabi anything. Now, question that they ask. Now, doctor, now you get him. Shamsuddin tells you, what is the, what is the shisha side effect? Or what is the side effect of shisha? No be shisha with the discuss. Mm -hmm. But shisha can kill you. <laughs> Even, uh, <laughs> uh, shisha can kill you. I no need doctor to answer this one. Yes. <laughs> in some house in the north now, some big, Families, mama they draw shisha, <laughs> children they draw shisha. One woman, well, let her buy a machine and say shisha. Let her buy a machine and say, say Arab people too, they take shisha. Now, everything uh, where Arab do, now you go copy. <laughs> it's Arab Islam. <laughs> uh -huh. Shisha, uh, sorry, doctor. Yes, sir. Uh, Abba. Akilaga, Steve, he said, please make people that have many children no go practice this year to a hungry day. Now only people where they look for children. Oh, <laughs> good morning. God bless you, doctor. <laughs> Family members. Okay, people where get children. <laughs> no. Okay. Olua uh, Yemisi Onanuga, he said, doctor, please, what is the tendency of a watery spam to to pregnant a woman tendency possibility okay. of watery spam if you give woman belly yes the watery spam the, the the thickness of spam is actually related directly to the consent the thickness of semen 
we have to differentiate it. Semen is the fluid. Actually, the sperm is not even visible. They are microscopic. Oh, that I can see is the is the, is the is the sperm itself. But when the sperm mix with the semen, it becomes thicker. So the 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 lighter the 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 secretion, the less uh, the concentration of the sperm. So that's why if so the thicker the better. Yes, because yes. Uh, for men that have not had intercourse for a long time, mm. so it gets tend to be thicker. But one that's oh, frequent. So if you don't watch the person, they do also free so, uh, somewhere. It, that. that means that it must have the frequency must have been more. Mm. So, but nevertheless, it is still able to impregnate a wife, the woman. And the picking go well, very well. Mm. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> no question, no. Okay, I ask. I ask bad question now. <laughs> Uh, give a uh, microphone to Hajia uh, Hajia Haider Shatima. Good day, doctor. Thank you for coming. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, I know a baby that is born. Uh, they say sh the brain is does not grow together with the body. At a certain age, she started swelling. So we took her to the doctor, and the doctor diagnosed her as uh, one X, a single X, no X Y, no nothing. So they said they maybe that time she didn't start uh, futures, no breasts, no menstruation. So it got us worried. At the point after now after 19 years she started exhibiting as if she's so aggressive. And then at uh, at her age, if you leave her, she go to somebody with like 11 years to play with, or 10 years to play with. That's the age of her brain for now. Mm -hmm. That's what they said. Okay. So what do you say to that? Before that one, mm. uh, Yakubu Usman. Well, Yakubu Usman, he said, "Thanks, doctor. What about those ladies? We always they see breast milk for their breast without breastfeeding a baby, and yes. nobody see them bear or them born no." Yes, it's an important question. It's it's, it's, it's one of the causes of infertility. Hey! We call it um, um, galacturia. So the the it's it's a hormonal thing. It's, it's, it comes under the hormones that I've, I talked about. When the brain is producing too much of prolactin, that particular hormone, it acts on the breast tissue to produce breast milk, mm. and at the same time, it suppresses ovulation. Ooh. Yes. So when a woman, even a young lady, is experiencing breast milk, milk. that and that, nobody says she do abortion. Yes, no abortion, no pregnancy, nothing. It shows there's a particular hormone that is produced from the brain that is in excess. Is it treatable? Because that hormone ought to be produced when the baby suckles yes. on the breast. Yes, but but it's wait, treatable. We if, treat it. If there is no baby to suckle, and an adult suckle. <laughs> no be soku, no be soku. Ah, uh -huh. yes, yes. So, so that that condition where the breast milk is produced without um, without being pregnant or suckling a baby can be treated with medication. So, and, you, and uh, you, Usman, you don't hear uh, the good barista with a good heart. Good morning, sir. My, my president. Good morning, sir. Morning, sir. Well done, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. Sorry, uh, the important uh, discussion of today, I have a question for our doctor, sir. And the question goes down, sir. I learned there is a blood group or genotype, I don't know, maybe blood group, they call it O minus. O minus. Mm -hmm. And I learned uh, if guy is not taking, it has to do with running somebody uh, to a point that the person may not be able to conceive again, but for women. O minus in a woman. In a woman. So if a woman get O minus, if, if, no, if, a, if a woman if a woman is O minus, for example, that mm. was what I had. Mm. They say if a woman is O minus, if that woman conceives or the woman uh, had uh, has something like a miscarriage. Mm. Within the first 30 minutes of miscarriage or the first 30 minutes of giving birth, 
I learned there is a particular injection that must be administered to that woman. Mm. They say if not, the person will not be able to conceive again. I don't. I don't know. I had something like that. I said, let our doctor uh, so, associate on it for us. Maybe I don't know how to put it very well. No, no, no problem. You uh, understand what I have said? Uh, because so many, so many women are running into that problem now, mm. and uh, it may lead to them not even conceiving again. Mm. They won't know the cause of it. Some people they say they are all minors as as uh, ladies. They will not know. They say some even laboratories are even uh, giving them wrong uh, tests when when wrong test results when they go. Some will not even know they are the the they are all minors until after the mistake has been done. Okay, uh, the good barrister with the good heart, barrister Adams. Yes, sir. So you know no now. You won't make doctor. Uh, make the uh, make doctor shed more light yes now for you to, to know okay sir yes sir. Uh, for you to know yes sir. for the first time lawyer don't admit say <laughs> you know no make we appreciate by the time i get your okay. <laughs> no repeat that one repeat that one again <laughs> it's a uh, repeat that one when you talk by the time doctor tells me now uh, if you ask me to reproduce it, I will reproduce it better than him. Yeah. <laughs> that is, that is okay. uh, you walk that way, Lord. Uh, there, Lord Denny. Uh, 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 wait, he said, he said, God forbid, Abby. Yes, now, mm. God forbid, a lawyer would know everything. Mm. A lawyer cannot know all the laws. We mm. only know where to find the laws mm. and to identify it. Mm. Yes, my president, sir. Mm. That thing is of so much concern, sir. Okay. I, I know some people. It, it's an important question. I will answer it. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Make yes, we appreciate yes, Barista yes. Adam. <laughs> so, don't your Sabi pass lawyers. <laughs> teach so, them. Uh, teach them. <laughs> teach them. So, what he's talking about is what we call resus iso immunization. See, when uh, for women that have that are O negative, mm. if they have been pregnant before with an O positive baby, or let's say they had an abortion, the 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 uh, there's a stimulation of certain antigens in the body hmm. waiting for the next pregnancy hmm. when the next present pregnancy comes the that's the, what is has already been activated will attack the pregnancy yes so it leads to frequent miscarriage so even if as a young lady that's why a termination of pregnancy through quack is very risky and a lot, it's not just the infection. Mm, a lot of people can. Complication. Can, yes, complication. If somebody is O negative, or is a neg not just O, anybody that is negative, if, he, if she terminates pregnancy, mm. part of the blood of that baby can mix with the mother's blood. Then it will, st it will trigger a reaction. And then it's like soldiers are waiting. Next time that woman gets pregnant with a child, they will attack. They will attack. So it will, the woman can have like five, six miscarriages. Miscarriages. Yes. Some people, some yeah. people go they shout say na village people, na village yes. people. Yes. So that's that's what he's talking about. It's resus So in in the hospital, when an O negative mother gives birth, we give them a, a, an injection. It's called rogam. Rogan. Yes, once you give them that injection, it bl it stops that communication. That communication that between that uh, begin. Yes, blood way being when the, when it already entered the mm -hmm. mother, it blocks the effect. Thank you. Sir. Yes, so that's uh, what it's talking uh, about. Ibrahim, he said, "My ordinary president, we have to wait for at least one year before we can start to judge before before we can start to." To judge this new government <laughs> <laughs> because i said one year for infertility so <laughs> he's extrapolating it to <laughs> politics <laughs> uh G jim jimon genom genom samson he said doctor sir what is the cause of regular miscarriage and how can it, it be controlled coincidentally i've, I've said one of it Kai, we're going to need the hospital number. Then um, another, mm. another reason is... Um, uh, Mariam, 
go collect a hospital number so that people go take advantage of it. Another reason is mm. if following um, for following abortion, the womb, the neck of the womb can be weak. Mm. So when the child is getting big, when the child is getting big, the weight of it will just cause the pregnancy to come through. Mm -hmm. So we, it's, um, um, we call it cervical incompetence. Mm -hmm. It's because the, the 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 womb is no longer it's strong. Weakened, okay. Yes, around that area. Can some something be done? Yes, we, okay. when the child, when the woman gets pregnant, she should talk to the to his doctor immediately. Okay. There's a stitch that will be put around there. Okay. Yes, to to keep the baby in place for the term. At the delivery time, they will remove the stitch. Thank you. Sir. That's another cause of um, regular frequent miscarriage. Okay. Michael, then chromosomal sir. abnormality. Yes, sir. The body has a way of expelling a baby that will be deformed. Yeah. Yes. When, when you see Ooh. a when you see a woman is constantly having miscarriage, if you examine that that embryo, many times it's, an, it's a deformed embryo. Hey! So the body expels something that will not be good. That's a beautiful out of nature. Okay. And I've been one. So some of us are worried, they worry as a result of say when a wife get miscarriage. Now God help her now. Yes. Flush out picking. We suppose torture una in the name of say una go they go hospital throughout una lives. Una see how awesome God did, but how wonderful for God did. So woman body fit detect the uh, picking. We no uh, keep on the effect. We no go. Uh -huh. Yeah. Because somebody be I be one read one. This is thing eh? where you answer now. You don't answer one question where somebody talks it. What is the cost of uh, frequent uh, miscarriage? Yes. Dogara Philemon, you say, Good morning, sir. Doctor, sir, infection can cause disruption of menstruation. Uh, me, 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 menstruation. How then can you convince us that at the age of 35 years can be? in her mon monopause or do you have any machine that determines that we check the hormone level so you don't hear yes mm -hmm. please uh oh look at your day gabriel he said doctor please don't forget to answer that madame's question in the studio about a child growth and her brain development is stunted the mumu that I used to Give visitors souvenir in bracket a family. Ask the question. The, oh, the, the mama, woman, hmm. the woman where they give souvenirs. Okay. Oh, the mama yes. where they give souvenirs for bracket a family visitors. Uh, ask that question. Okay, yes, yeah. it's, it's a chromosomal abnormality, mm -hmm. and these are some of the children that should have been aborted. Some of them still manage to come uh, come to life. Yes, so once there's chromosomal abnormality, the child cannot be normal. Mm. And that's what yeah, that's why you have you are seeing all the abnormalities. Yes. Uh Femi Fred, he said, please sir, can this process help an AS an AS couple to have healthy children? And how affordable is this process of IVF? Yes, see for the IVF we can do sex selection, we can also determine um, the couple, uh, the the type of so AS and AS can have a healthy child through IVF. Through IVF, but Una. but it's, a, it's not just general IVF. It's an advanced type of IVF where you select the the particular one to avoid to um, to escape the. Una they do for Alliance Hospital. Yes. Ah ah, she can. She can. Mike Ajiboye is saying my. One tube was told has collapsed for now. She doesn't menstruate again for 37 years. Can, can she still have children, doctor? It depends on how old she is. 47. She has hit menopause, most likely. So if she wants to have children, it will have to be through IVF. And it will work? Yes. By the grace of God? Yes. 
But for such a woman, she should get ready to have a donor egg because so, she can't have egg. Samuel Okafo, he say good morning, ordinary president. I sincerely appreciate you for bringing Dr. Uh, Otabo and taking up this topic. Please, I would like to ask, what about people with three jerry cans? Can that be attributed to infertility? So some people, they get three jerry cans. Three testes. In, uh, Nigeria. Well, it's possible, but it, as you long never as seen before. I have not seen, but it is in the books, but yeah. I have not seen personally. Practically. Yes. I but as long one. as they are producing, they are doing their job, mm. it should not stop, it should not prevent uh, self This, this uh, person needs to see you, sir. Okay, that's mm. fine. Mm. Mm. Uh, officially, Sally, you say good morning, doctor. And good morning, my uh, president. Good morning, Brekete. Uh -huh. What of a woman who don't take spam, take in spam after sexual intercourse? The man's spam comes out. Can she get pregnant? I don't well, the, I don't, the that question is bizarre. Yes, people say things like that. Mm. But the truth is, after intercourse, there will always be spill over. But the one that goes in is enough to do the job, except except the woman has an obstruction. Yes, maybe there's a cervical. Um, there's there's a condition in which the cervix is completely closed, and then in that case, nothing goes through. But it is after what has gone through has gone through the excess can still be out and it doesn't mean that she cannot get pregnant okay bishop exodus he said doctor please my fiance confessed to me of her having several abortions now she is experiencing lactation please what is the cause of her lactating without breastfeeding and how can the lactation stop it could be she needs to come to the hospital it could be a hormonal problem Yes. I beg give me the address of the hospital to make a talk. The number to Alliance uh, Hospital, the their help desk number now zero eight one. Mm -hmm. Now, for those of you are for studio, I go give una five minutes. Make una go collect una phones. Come back. Oh, after the program, okay. Make we not disrupt the program. Any day where I go green doctor, all of una go carry either una phones or paper and biro so that una go write down some things. Make una uh, forgive me, say, uh, we we'll no prepare well like this. I beg, make una no vex. Una here. The Alliance Hospital uh, desk number na 081 48 Zero nine, another zero nine. Zero eight one, seventy three, forty eight, zero nine, zero nine again. Alliance Hospital na the help desk number na. Zero eight one mm -hmm. seven three mm -hmm. four eight mm -hmm. zero nine mm -hmm. another zero nine. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Uh, the social media handles. Uh, when I know say I know to uh, be all the social media where we make can no go Instagram now. Alliance Hospital Abuja underscore official. Instagram Alliance Hospital Abuja underscore official. Your Excellency, distinguished Ambassador Chukudi, the man will know they like Chukudi, Chuku, the Brekete family ambassador in the whole of United, uh, United Arab Emirates headquarters, Dubai. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Mm -hmm. How are you? I did request uh, Dr. Tavo, good morning, doctor. Doctor, uh, then they you greet you, sir. Then they... Good morning. Ordinary, mm -hmm. I just called to thank you so much for bringing Dr. Tavo mm -hmm. to the studio. Mm -hmm. 
to you today. You know, may God richly bless you for Amen. your love to humanity. Mm. May God reward you and protect you for always thinking on how to better other people's lives. Mm. May God bless you and reward you for going out of your way to put smile on people's face. Mm. May God reward you and your family for the fact that for humanity, you just came back and you invited him to come and lecture the whole world. Mm. And today you are saving lives. You are touching lives from the little God has blessed you with. Mm. Ordinary, may God reward you. Mm. Um, whatever, what doctor has done this morning, many people have learned a lot mm. that will help them to better their lives. Mm. Without paying anything. Without paying one naira. Mm. It's a free. Free consultation. And this thing will be on the net. Mm. May God bless you. Sir. Amen. Sir. May God bless you. Amen. And Dr. Dr. Dabo, yes, sir. for the love you show to the humanity through ordinary president, whatever is your secret prayer, Almighty God will cut not to answer. Amen. Amen. Amen sir. We, 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 we love you. We, we appreciate you. We celebrate you. I don't know. See how humble you are, how simple you are, and the things you do. May mm. God reward you, sir. Amen. So please, before I go, somebody put a one question on uh, on the Facebook platform. She mm. said that many people are doing family planning, including younger children, younger people. Yes. I know. So they are doing family mm. planning, and she said, "What is the effect?" Of this family plan. Thank you. Okay. Before you go, uh, Ambassador Chukudi, you see yes, some sir. of these uh, children where they hawk granite and other things. Yes, sir. 13 years, 14 years, 15 years. Yes, sir. Now their mama, they carry them go do family planning. He get one case where we do of one Fulani woman. She carry her daughter go do family planning. The one way then they put for hand, where then they I don't know where then they hide them for hand. Yes. So that the girl no go carry belly. It means say she sabi say no be only the thing where she send the girl to go sell. Nine the girl they sell. But right. doctor will answer this one. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mention. Make we appreciate Ambassador Chukwudi. Okay, so can Somebody, I answer his another question? person in comment don't fly go, but I I I hold on for head. He say what of the man where he always the day ready? For action, and in wife they deny him. Say they con, uh, go, they complain, complain every time. Say waiting be the side effect. That that one is is a family problem. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so not be everything you know. <laughs> it's not a medical problem. <laughs> what is the cause of uh, delay in menstruation after birth? This is coming from Ameraya Paul. Yes, it's because when just the way breastfeeding, uh, so breast milk production can suppress ovulation in mm. people who are not uh, pregnant. The same with breast milk, the suckling effect of the baby on the breast milk leads to more production of breast milk. And that process, that hormone, the prolactin, suppresses ovulation. Okay. So, so it's a natural, it's in nature's way of preventing too frequent pregnancies. Mm. As long as you are breastfeeding your baby, your chance of getting pregnant is less. Thank you. But uh, we get the one word they call guarine. But it can happen. So that's why we still advise people to to prevent pregnancy even when they are breastfeeding. Okay. Or there is a nosakare. You say, Doctor Tabo, the regular sexual. Is regu regular sexual intercourse good for women that have reached menopause or stop giving birth? What is the resulting effect, sir? There's no problem about that. It yeah. is. It is. It is encouraged. Uh, okay. Yes. 
in Korea. Yes. Okay, okay. Don't make we open telephone. So, line. so the mm. question on f uh, the use of contraceptives mm. by young yes, women. Sir. Yeah, it, uh, though, though it's not morally, it is wrong, mm. but medically, it's preferable to having an uh, unwanted pregnancy. The rumor where we hear say some of this family planning uh, medicine say it they cause infertility. When time drawn reach for you to say you won't get Peking, Peking go they run away from you. Okay. You get another family planning one. That time, with that time, uh, way then they put for hand. One woman, when she put them, she, she can't find fresh. When she decided to come out, she can't be sick. Can't lean like say she get a uh, sickness. And they say, I side the effect of uh, that uh, family planning, where then they plant for, for well, the, the, the issue of um, leading to it's infertility true, right? in the future. I don't have that fact. Mm. Yes, and I cannot support it. Mm. I can't. I can't uh, defend that. Mm. But I know that um, contraception saves lives, mm. and it prevents a lot of crisis. Okay. So when a woman is not ready to have babies, and if she's sexually active, she must protect. She must do something to prevent pregnancy. Thank you. Very so the choice of contraception is now left to the specialist or the person in question okay there are different types of contraceptives okay yeah. root on on near my on near my it says sir is it possible for a woman to conceive without ovulating no no yes yeah, simple hello good morning good morning i got released now Hello, good morning. Good morning. Oh my God. Mm. Ordinary president. Yeah. I got you which one? Yes. Yeah, Nami. Nami ma. Eh? Nami ma. Nami. Oh my goodness. I got you on the phone. Wait in. Let's break the family, right? Yes, ma. Wait in be your name. Where you they run off from? My name is Isawa Edwina. I'm coming from United States. Okay. Which part of United States? Uh, in Houston. Houston, okay. So, what him be your contributor? I'll be that thing where they took you for liver. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, this is the first time I'm trying. I love your Maybe show. Maybe I appreciate you her. You are awesome. You are awesome. You are too much. I mean, may God bless you. Amen. May God bless you. Amen. I, I mean, everything is awesome. Since I, I come across your show, I do not stay. I have to stay awake. It's now um, it, um three 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 forty a.m. Eh? In, in Houston, oh, I have to stay awake to listen to your program. Oh, but I you. have a question. But it's, I thank you, the doctor, for coming. But I have a question about that lady that the uncle sold her car. I know I'm trying to take no, you back. No, no. Please, what's uh, the update? Tell her to come back tomorrow. The we will oh. we will re, re invite her tomorrow yes, for sir. update, man. For update, also. Yes. And another problem, we don't have your account because I'm new on the show. Oh. I've never seen you posted the account, yeah, so I, one can contribute and pay money in yes, for you to be able to help people. You are awesome. May Thank God you. bless you. Amen. You are doing what the a whole government have not been able to do for our people. Oh I mean, I shed tears. When I see what you're doing, can you post your account so that we can help? Can I, I know a lot of people have been doing it, but I've never seen it posted. Can I, can I, I do not get the account playing. Can I talk, ma? Hello? Can I talk now, ma? Yeah, go ahead. Now, the only time we announce account number is when we, we need to raise money. And when I don't have the money to complete a particular project at the moment okay. at the moment we don't need money ma. i'm sorry yes oh. yes it is only when we have uh, uh, somebody that re needs financial assistance or medical support that requires money 
and but, maybe but yesterday morning you have the lady that came that the mom is sick yes ma and you even say that to see this couple that came yeah. and you have to raise money to give her yes i borrowed forty thousand i've paid back the forty thousand already i had the forty thousand no, naira God. in my office that was the reason why ma and then, um, it, it might interest you to know that General Unwachuku, the army spokesperson, uh, uh, the one yes. I talked to yesterday uh, 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 in respect to Baba's farmlands issue. Yes. General, General Unwachuku sent 90,000 naira to Baba. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, ordinary question. Can I help? Is there any way you can send that account? Aye. Anybody's number, I know you don't give out your private number. How can I get it? Because I have a lot of people that have been on your show that I really want to, Help. you know, be part of what you're doing. Okay. Please. If I I announce the account number. Okay, you will. Be before, right now. Before I, I announce, have... wait, before I announce the account number, I want you and I to agree on one thing, man. I will. Okay, tell me. If you are sending the money, I want okay. you to describe. Well, what did they call that thing? Where they describe what in the on the narration. Okay. You are going to mention this amount of money is for a so so complainant or so so patient or so so case. Okay. If you do that, it will be okay. Even if if it is a case we have done three four years ago we will look for okay. the person trace the person and send the money to the person okay i told me yes. my hand is up make that we, i'm in the call make we I appreciate her make we appreciate her what did you say is your name again man what did you say is your name again hi she don't cut them more uh, hello hey, wait him so be your name. Posting it, are you posting it right now wait him be your name man my name is Ifoma Edwina. I'm from Anambra State, but I married to an um, Inuit state man. Okay. I'm here in Houston. I love your show. Uh, you are God's thing. We love you too. You are God's thing. Which, which is local government of Anambra State, man? I'm from Oka. Hey! Now, now, it's a big do gone. Oka, Oka made. <laughs> which village, man? I'm from Omo Bele, Omo Bele. Waiting be Omo Bele. Yes, sir. Waiting will be your compound name for Omo Bele. My compound name is Okuwane family. Hey. Okuwane. And now will be which person picking for that family? Hey, Chineke. Hey. My my daddy is Moye Lawrence. One the bit is late. Oh, Lawrence, sorry. Lawyer, the one is late. Yes, man. Yes, we love you too. We much. love you Look too. Too much. Hope okay, you appreciate her. Now her brothers and sisters go. Yeah, sister day is it? Hello, good morning. Good morning, honorary president. Now who me and I'm the one for radio and TV telephone. My name is Amesin. I live from Finland. Hey, hey. What is your country? What is your name? Thank you, sir, for inviting Dr. Otabo this mm, morning. Mm. They say, who no go? No, no. Certainly, keep Johnny. Not be easy mm, Johnny. Not mm, be my life case. Mm. And then I want to ask Dr. question. Mm. If if Dr. say you say your AMH low and SSH day high, Wait till me. Make you explain that to us. You Wait. Make you show more light. To Wait. Me. You go slow down. Ask the question again so that uh, no. doctor go understand. No. 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 Okay. Mm. If doctor tell us to say A N H D low and S H D high. F S H me. A N A A wait till H. A M U H. Okay, M U for for meter. Yes. Uh -huh. A M U H. H for H. Uh -huh. And then uh, you say and the, that, that one they low. Then the, which one they high? Yes. H. F S F H. F -S -H. Okay, thank you. Uh, doctor, don't understand. He go answer you now. 
Okay, so uh, okay, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Mention, mention. Mm -hmm. FSH is follicle stimulating hormones. Mm. It's the hormone that is produced by the brain. When the ovary is not doing its job, the it signals the brain gets the signals and produces more to try to flog the ovaries mm. to to produce egg or to produce the hormones. Mm. So in menopause, in patients who are approaching menopause their ovary is not performing well. So the brain gets the signal mm. and produces more FH, FSH God to, is wonderful. for it to produce more. Mm. But if there's no more tissue there, there's nothing that will mm. happen. So in, in, in patients who are approaching menopause, you, you have the FSH going high. Mm. The same thing with AMH. Mm. The number of egg that is remaining in the ovary mm. will determine how much AMH is produced. Mm. If the eggs are becoming very few, mm. the AMH will be low. Mm. So these two combined, high FSH and low AMH is is just telling you that this woman is approaching menopause mm. or is in menopause. Mm. And so if that is the report, forget it. The woman will not be able to give birth on her own except through assisted reproduction. Okay. Uh, my sister is 19, yet she never started menstruation. What is the cause and solution? Please, sir. There are many possible causes. It can be late menarche. Menarche is the first menstruation in a woman. So it can happen late. But 19 is really quite late mm. because most most girls would attain menopause. Children uh, of men nowadays at 15, even 16. At, no, at 10 years. Eh? Yes, 9, 10. What in the job? <laughs> so 19 is quite late. So we need to check the hormone level to be to know what's going on. To, to be sure that there's nothing abnormal. And also, it's possible that menstruation is coming, but it's concealed. If the womb is blocked, it could be, it's, you won't see the menstruation. So there are many things that um, may be possible, but the, the girl needs to come to the hospital for evaluation. Oh, okay. Emilia Chizoba, he said, please, ordinary president, ask doctor, say, how many times will all negative person take Orogem injection after birth. It's once after birth and after each birth you take one. After giving birth each so time. If she born ten times, yes, you nice. take it ten times. Yes. yes. You but it's only it. once for that pregnancy. Okay. We you, you will not decrease. Yes, make I mention the the social media. Uh, social media for Alliance Hospital. Instagram now Alliance Hospital to underscore official twitter na alliance hospital abuja at alliance hospital uh, twitter again na alliance hospital no at alliance hospital mm -hmm. uh, you know say the person where right answer the twitter handle for uh, alliance hospital na at alliance hospital facebook na alliance hospital and services abuja Website na www.alliancehospitalabj.com. Once again, the website na www.alliancehospitalabj.com. Number one to five, Malunfashi Close, off Emeka Anyoku Street, near uh, area 11, near Nikon, near Nikon Luxury Hotel. Garki Abuja. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much.